when it happened, you know, we heard the first news and Kobe Bryant was mentioned and that, that was a tragedy in itself. And, uh, and then as, you know, the game actually progressed, I think we were in the third inning of our alumni game and I heard the second half of the news that John Altabelli was on the helicopter. And, you know, like everybody else, you try to wrap your brain around it. And here at Beckman, John's sister, Sissy, is our secretary. I mean, we have a really close relationship with uh, Sissy. She loves baseball. She comes out to all of our games. And uh, when we heard about it, we were just devastated. We actually one day uh, went up to Miss Oberlin in her office and handed her, each one of us handed her a rose. So it's pretty cool. She started crying, you know, it was really sad, but it was also, you know, it picked her up kind of that she knew people were there for her. I feel like Beckman really rallied since uh, Everyone went to the basketball game and donated a lot of money and uh, spent their time and um, really shared like what kind of what kind of school we are and how we can rally together in a time of loss. I don't think it should be forgotten how fantastic a baseball coach he was. You know, we all have careers and we all want to be the best. John Altabelli was the best baseball coach in the state of California. Middle of the field. Hit the L screen. Hit the L screen, win a prize. There's my guy right there. There's your prize. Prizes that you get to hit again. All right. We finished 14-1 in our league last year, won the Pacific Coast League Championship, which is always our, our number one goal going into the season. And then in the Division One CIF playoffs, we went on the road to Capistrano Valley, the defending champs, and we lost eight to five. This year, well, we had lost a lot of seniors last year, and we had a lot of spots to fill up. So uh, we, we have a big target on our back and we, everyone just wants to beat us thinking that this is their year. But um, I, I think they're very wrong about that. Being on this team for three years, I think that we have the same talent as uh, we did for the past two or three years. And I think we're still gonna be a tough team to beat this year. Gone, gone. Look at that, that's baseball. That's all we gotta do. Get him on, get him over, get him in. Miller, you're done, good. The players are super excited. We've got, we got a new home uniform and a new away uniform. I'm a baseball historian, traditionalist, and so our uniforms are kind of good. I looked at some uniforms from the 1930s and kind of modeled our uniform after that. Me and two other guys were the guys who kind of uh, demoed them for the whole program. So they really liked them when we walked in, and they're, I think they're awesome. Oh, I love them. Yeah, pinstripes uh, looks really good. The, uh, the away jerseys are really nice, charcoal color. It's got a cool uh, K right in the center too, so I really like that. At first base, we have a big, tall, six foot six first base named Cooper Monroe, who uh, started last season uh, s several games and is really coming to his own. He's going to be a middle of the order guy, uh, big, powerful, uh, great leader, and he's really improved at first base. I think that was kind of one of his uh, handicaps last year is his defensive first base, and he's put a lot of effort and time into becoming a really solid first baseman. I think my uh, hitting ability would probably make the best option for me. I have pretty good defense when it comes to playing first base. Um, I can pick balls, I can move around. Our shortstop is named Alec Gomez. He's committed to San Diego State. This is gonna be his third year starting here. He's been our third baseman the past two years. Uh, I think if you ask people around the league and certainly his teammates, you know, who's your best player? I think Alec would get a lot of votes in that. He's been a, a all league player for two years. He's either going to lead off or hit third for us. He's not a kid who plays baseball. He's a true baseball player. I think in the field, uh, I'm not too flashy. I make the simple plays and, you know, I make any plays that come around me. Uh, at the plate, I'm a tough out. Um, I swing a lot and, you know, just don't like to walk or strike out. And then the outfield, Jacob Guardado, who last year pitched a lot for us. He's going to pitch a lot for us this year, too. He's kind of moved to left field. He's a left-handed bat. He's going to be a, a top of the order guy. Uh, improved. Uh, I can't even tell you how much he's improved between now and his freshman year. Uh, got great baseball DNA. His dad was a major leaguer. You know, my son's been with me, you know, in the locker rooms in the big league. So he's kind of get the feel and, 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 and what's up, what it takes to become a better player. But we always teach a better person, right? And uh, that's what I teach with my son. And, and at, at, all that takes care of itself when he comes out in the baseball field. Just be a good teammate, do well in school, cheer your teammates on, and, and go have fun. Mainly the biggest thing is just attitude. Um, just, you know, be up there with a purpose. Keep your head up, keep your shoulders up. Don't act like you don't want to be there. So, you know, if you, 
if you really want to be something and you really want to do it, then have the attitude for it. And then the last guy I'll talk about is named Nick McLean. He's the last of the McLean brothers. Matt, his older brother, graduated in 2018. Sean graduated last year. Matt's at UCLA. Uh, Sean's at Arizona State. And now there's Nick. And Nick is a junior, left-handed. Uh, left, he's actually a left-handed thrower. He's a switch hitter. And he's either going to lead off or hit third for us. And he's going to play first base last year. This year, he's going to play center field and pitch. And uh, I'm really excited to see him do both. He's He's the guy, he's a junior, but he's as much as a veteran and a, and a leader as anybody on the field. Offensively, I, I just started switch hitting, which is uh, it's fun, new. Uh, I'm pretty fast, make contact. And then uh, on the mound, I guess you could say I, I throw pretty hard, I throw strikes, I compete, it's the main thing. Pitchers, if you score one run, you get a snack bar run. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be on YouTube for the rest of your life. Ball game, pitchers win. All right, bring it in, let's go. Pitchers, follow me. All right. In one. Water, drink water. 